Hi folks, this is going to be a really quick video about creating an extension method that you can use in your uh, games that will allow you to reset a transform from any script. All right, so to do that, we will create an extension method. Uh, and so we'll go create new C sharp script. And we will actually just call it my extensions. And we'll open that up in Visual Studio. All right, so I have my script open and the first thing I wanna do is turn this into a static class. So public static, uh, and we will not inherit from mono behavior. So we'll get rid of that. <clears throat> and we don't need start or update, we can get rid of that. Uh, and what we do need is a static method. So we'll go public static uh, transform. So we'll return a type of transform and we will call it reset. Uh, well, yeah, we'll just call it reset, that's fine. Um, and we will take a variable of this and we will go, it will be of a type transform and we will just call it source. And so what do we wanna do? We want to return the source. Uh, oh, actually first of all, we need to go source dot. So this is the transform we got. So we will go source dot position is equal to vector three, uh, vector three dot zero. So position is zero. Um, we want the source dot rotation, uh, rotation, and we will equal to quintillion dot identity. And then we will go source uh, dot scale. Oh, I can't spell source dot scale. Uh, and we'll set that equal to vector three dot one. And then we will return source. All right. So that is our extension method covered. So let's have a look at actually using that. So if I go back into Uni and I create another script, C sharp script, and we will say it's a player controller, just, just for an example. We will open that one up. And just to show how you would use it, let's say I want to use it in update, I might go, you know, this, so, uh, supposing this is attached to the player, we can go transform and I can go dot reset and close off the bracket and end it. And now I know that that transform will be reset. And that's how you create an extension method in Unity that will reset the transform. Thanks for watching.